we'll be focusing on JSON Web Tokens. You might be asking what are JSON Web Tokens? It's a short abbreviated as JWT. These are web tokens that are used to send secure data between client and server. What JWT is, they are mostly commonly used to identify an authorized or authenticated user. They are issued by an authentication server and are being consumed by the client and server side of an application. JSON web tokens are secure. They are also efficient and stateless. We'll move over talking about structure of JSON web token. Here is an example of what a JWT looks like. This JWT over the image is separated by three periods. Uh, these are three sections as illustrated in the image. They are separated into the header, the payload, and the signature. Now, each JWT token is generated a long alphanumeric string format separated by three periods. So in the above example, the first string before the first period is the header, which you see it involves, as displayed in the image, a certain algorithm and also a certain path. The alphanumeric string for the second period is the payload. Now, this payload contains the data that is being sent either from the client or the server side, while the third part of the JWT signature. Now, there are certain steps JWT take to verify the data is being received. First, it tries to fetch the header part of the JWT. Then, it goes to do base 64 decoding on it to get the plain text and the algorithm that's being used. Once it verifies that the type field value is JWT and the algorithm is correct, it proceeds to the next step. If not, it will reject the JWT. The next step being fetching the secret key, which is going to be stated in your maybe environment variable, and runs it across the base 64 UI operation on the header and body of the incoming JWT. So the next step will be to decode the body of the GWT to give the data in between. So basically all this is done in the background. 